Between us, uh, he has high regard for divine providence. He's a godly person. He may not be uh, a, a type of person who will preach about it, who will tell you about it. But uh, in my dealing with him, I knew deep in his heart that he has a deep love for God. I think the public knows naman na Lolo is very makulit. Mm -hmm. I just want everyone to know that at home, He's even more makulay. <laughs> Sobrang makulay. The luxury of family. He's, he's very near to his people. Kung natutulog kami sa bunker kasama yung mga tao, yung mga tao could not believe na si acting chief of staff natutulog sa bunker. Masabi mo talaga, ibang commander siya. Kung ano ang natikman ng tao, kung ano ang experience ng tao, hindi experience din niya. Pag sinabi niya, Starting next week, all our jumps will be equipment jump, even at night. Hmm. Equipment jump. He will jump not only with the equipment, but also one case of San Miguel beer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Para ipakita yeah. na jumping with your equipment is not difficult. Basta ipapakita mo na niya. Siya mo na ang, <laughs> everything that our, our unit or people in under training mm -hmm. went through. Siya mo na niya mm -hmm. na. He can do it, mm -hmm. setting a very good example. I had to go back down, look for FVR, mm -hmm. and then presented my problem mm -hmm. to him. And he said, don't worry about it, your dad is safe. And my father was an opposition leader. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was my first meeting with the former president. My impression then, he was a no-nonsense person. And when he said that, no, your father is safe, I knew my father was safe, so that, that, there's that, you know, you, you, you know, there's somebody that you can, you can trust. The next time I meet uh, FVR, he was already gearing to run for the presidency. I look at his background, you know, military officer, and uh, he, he, if he has got personal ambitions, he could uh, dispose somebody and say, I want the rule, but that is not that. He, I believe that he is a firm, upholder of the rule of law. And what impressed me about him was um, that he would always be the best prepared among the cabinet members. He would make um, presentations, very impressive presentations, and it just struck us how well prepared he was. Mm -hmm. He practiced what he preached about complete stuff work. He lets you put your heads together. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yes, he said that. He said life. that. Yeah. He <laughs> said that. Don't come to me if you are a cluster. Don't come to me with several recommendations. You submit one recommendation wherein all of you agree to the recommendation. <laughs> so you're forced to work oh, with them oh, oh. Oh, and come oh, up oh. with a solution. Matters or documents that I sent to him in the morning will be acted in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. It will be back to me with the action it's already indicated by the president, approval or disapproval. And uh, my papers that I sent to him in the afternoon will come back to me in the morning. No backlog. He's known for his legendary temper also. I mean, he, he, you could get a bawling out if you, if, he, if you did the wrong things or said the wrong things or essentially don't do your job well. That is the legacy. His adherence to the uh, constitutional system of governance. The yeah. one good thing I learned from him also is complete staff work. Oh, I yeah. Think, I Tell think me that about has that. served me well okay. in the private sector. Right. It's learning right. about that, right. that complete staff work. You don't bring something to him half-cocked, you know, mm -hmm. or unfinished. The introduction of the private sector as a key engine of economic growth and secondly, the realization of the Philippines as an integral part of what should be a growing and globally significant ASEAN community. Peace and development. His vision, not only for your country, but for the whole region. And he hoped that the whole Asia can enjoy the peace and development. We were on a state visit 
the first to Malaysia. And overnight, we stayed up all night talking about our relations with Malaysia, which was not very good. He called me aside and says, I want to have a four eyes meeting with uh, the prime minister. I said, sir, that's not allowed. You gotta have interpreters or note takers. No, you make it happen. I said, okay. So I ran to the ambassador and he, the ambassador was in my car. I said, the president wants a four eyes meeting. He says, no, that can't be done. He will never agree. As we went up the stairs with the official party of the president, they directed FBR to one room and the rest of us to another room, which basically means Mahathir agreed. And after 30 minutes or something like that, the president came out and he looked at me and says, Ayusna. And after that, in reality, relationship was never better. I think that's an example of a, a, a leader knows what the problem is and he responds to it with sometimes feel is unorthodox. Well, he did it. First of all, I have to commend this effort. It is important that the country and even the world understands what FBR did during his six years in office. Ito. 
fascist is coming, and in many areas. The best has already happened. Kaya wag niyong kalimutan ang ating singulo. Lakaya natin ito ay yung thumbs up. Thumbs up! Thumbs up! Kaya ka natin ito! We can do it! You know, I am not used to public speaking. I was ready, in fact, to sing a song. Kahit ano naman ang sakripisyo, kahit ano naman ang kalamidad. Kung tayo nagpapanakana, kung tayo nagpapaisa, kahit ano naman ang kahirapan, kaya natin ito. Kaya natin ito. Maraming salamat po. Mabuhay Philippines 2000. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas. Thank you very much.